okay, I'm ugly. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna get any movie deal, but whatever. Okay, so I've seen uh, videos about people having airport nightmares. I was just seeing a video yes uh, yesterday before I got up. Okay, I, I just seen the video yesterday before I even got up, and. There was passengers in the airport for 16 hours because there was one video I saw that was uh, going to Vegas for a birthday. And I guess it got ruined because the, the flight was canceled. But they was at the airport. Then I saw another infamous video about uh, about a person and the person in the wheelchair was uh, in the airport 16 hours. Okay. It was on American Airlines. The first video I watched was the Jet Poo. But I saw countless and countless of other videos that have nightmares. And I want to share my own nightmare. But this was the night this was the airline that I love, okay? This is the airline that I love. The official airline of the Big D Zone, Big D Country, yada yada yada. Okay? Love the flight attendants, yada yada. Southwest. Okay. So this is what happened. Okay, I'm all packed. I gotta leave. I gotta leave the second palace Monday. Well, technically, I'm leaving tomorrow. But I gotta, I gotta leave the second palace Monday. But I'm already gonna be gone. Because as you may know, I am going to podcast movement. I'm going to be covering one of the biggest podcasting conventions in the world. Okay. All right. And it's in Denver, Colorado. So check this out. My flight was paid, booked and paid for for months. Months. You know I had to uh you know I had to um you know I had to prepay for stuff. Yeah, but my my flight was uh no, like a month or two I was I had the flight paid for. Okay, yeah, it was it was a month that I paid for the flight back. But still, I had the flight Going to Denver, paid for for months, months. I've already got the hotel paid for. I got the little cash. I got about three forty nine at, and I was told how to get to uh, how to get to another place like where the uh, airport shuttle is. I uh, I could get a train uh, from the um, once I get my bag, and uh, I could get a train. I guess either I hope they got a, a lift pickup uh, going to the train. Cause the train is free, and everything. But anyway, yeah. Thanks to the vice, uh, thanks for the info that I got from the vice president, future vice president, I should say. Wow, I mean, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you got a flight. You've been planning. You've been wanting to go. It's it's been called your home. You're trying to get home. And then you 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 you're about to check check in. Okay. You do the online check in because I'm so used to do. I had never had a problem with online uh, online check in. The only time that I, the only reason I had a problem with that is because I didn't remember my passwords. For some reason, uh, my phone didn't want to remember the passwords, and yeah, I had to call some number. But I'm not waiting no two hours uh, just to get through to an agent. I got games to play for tonight, and then you know I gotta I gotta turn around. I gotta wake up eight o'clock in the morning. I gotta wake up eight o'clock in the morning. I'm still going to the airport. I'm still going to the airport. I have to get to Denver. I have to get to Denver. I probably need to call this video to Denver Podcast Movement or Bust. Yeah, that's what the name of this video is gonna be. To Denver Podcast Movement or Bust. And oh yeah, a great elevator channel had a uh, video where. He was stranded in Chicago for so many hours, and it was going to be standby, and then he had to wait all day, and then get to the hotel night. Now, I was looking forward to finally being able to spend an entire day checking at the hotel, because usually, except for when I went to Pod, uh, Podfest, but usually, I usually come in at night, you know, don't have a full day. I would have loved to have a full day at the hotel. Now, unless I could still get a flight that would give me them before 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock Denver time. Oh, I didn't tell you what it is. But before I could, if I could get another flight that would give me to Denver 
before three o'clock uh, 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 three o'clock Denver time, I should be going in. I'll still have that. Uh, I'll still have that time. I was looking forward. I paid that flight months ago. Yeah, it was the return flight that I I paid uh just recently. But uh anyway, but then now it's return, and then I had to go to Galveston. Yeah, I had to go to Galveston. But listen, I did not get to the airport. I did not even get to the airport yet. I'm leaving at nine o'clock tomorrow. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So we mean I got to get up eight o'clock. No, well, not an ungodly hour, but still. Ugh, I hate morning. And especially it's supposed to still be hot. I mean, we're in the middle of a damn excessive heat warning for crying out loud. Okay. So, I didn't even get to the airport. And what did I find out? Because I tried to check in. Uh, well, I, I was late checking in because I, I fell asleep, took a nap, fell asleep. And then when I got up, I got I tried to check in because usually you can check in anytime, 24 hours. Uh, 24 hours before the flight. So this is 24 hours before the flight. Wasn't working. Okay, so that maybe it was a glitch in the system. Maybe something wrong. I'll try again later. Went to sleep. Okay. Woke up. This is like before a game. Before I was doing this video. And then I'm about to do a podcast friend. Um, yeah, I'm about to do the rent for the regular podcast. And then still. Can't check in. This one is, uh, this, uh, this itinerary is no longer available. I said, what the hell is going on? So, I did what normally any other travelers do. Uh, they said to, uh, check the, uh, yeah, they said to, uh, check the flight status on, um, uh, on, uh, on the flight. So, I checked the flight status. I checked for tomorrow. And, ah! Cancel. Cancel. Big red letter. Like you got an F on a on a test. Like you got an F on a spelling test. Like you got an F on a math test. A big red letter thing. Freaking canceled. You what? You must have fell in and bump your head. I paid months ago for this flight. Southwest is my favorite era. I always sing I always sing praises of Southwest. I didn't even get an email saying that it can't put, I can't even get it to the app now. Usually when I get it to the app, they will say, you know, fly day day in early. But I don't want to do that again. I did that again do I did that before through podcast. I didn't have money for the hotel to the overnight. They wouldn't even give me a hotel. They just told me that I could go to the uh I could go to the uh airport the 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 the, the, the day before, pay for it. You know, with, with being tired and then seeing a, a guy passed out, like looking like he was dead, going into an ambulance. I still remember that crap. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that anymore. I don't have that kind of money. I just got, I just got prepared money for, you know, to get food when I'm at the hotel. And I, yeah, I did get my investment money back. No, it's not failed because I'm going to try it again. Probably once I get out, uh, probably once I get done with the uh, pot fest, but uh, you know, because I still have to get back and forth from Galveston. But still, I didn't even get so I won't get that fun video t- telling you that oh I had a, I had to cancel flight and I had to stay in the airport. Well, I still might have to stay at the airport for hours, but still, I won't have that fun video like uh, like the one I saw and there was another one I saw that uh. A uh, person couldn't even get to to uh, his destination to another day, and um, they said uh, American Airlines fail. Clean, clean yourself, clean your stuff up. But no, this is Southwest. And then I had a funny rant from about Spirit Airlines. A funny rant of Spirit Airlines. Maybe I need to go back to watching these videos because I'm having. Well, even though I didn't go uh, get to the airport yet, but maybe I need to watch, go back and watch these videos because this is insane. I didn't even, I didn't even leave the house, and I leave, I had to leave Monday. I, I couldn't even pay for the, for the, uh, the not the, the after the week went, but I got to get the podcast. I got to get the podcast. I, I mean, podcast movement. What did I say? What did I say? That's January. That's the end of January. 
but I got to get the podcast moment. I got to get the podcast moment. I got to get home. I got to get home. I got to get the freak home. I got to get home. Uh Uh-uh. No. 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 I got to get the freak home. I'm still leaving for that. I've already paid my roommate to take me to the airport. I already paid him. All right. It's a done deal. I already got lift cash. I paid for the hotel. I am going. My big head is going. My black big head is going to. Denver is going to. Podcast movement on freaking Monday. Through hook or by crook, I'm going to profit. Okay. Now, Southwest Airlines just started uh, their their new program uh, where, or I don't know, I don't know how how they uh, how they did it, but uh, instead of paying for a standby on upper tiers or having standby already included in upper tiers of the, uh, I guess of the ticket fare, whatever you like, the one to get away uh, and the other two fares that they have, and of course business. When well, our standby is included free. In uh in every class fair that you get, so I might be using it today, tomorrow <laughs> because my flight got canceled before I even left for before I even left for the airport. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I haven't seen anywhere to report about what's going on in Denver. I haven't seen anything. Except for the uh, runways are being constructed, from what I saw, nothing to warrant a flight to be canceled on the day before a trip, even a day before passengers head to the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury. I'm sorry, but in the, when it comes to that, I say is Southwest Airlines guilty? So now I got to figure out when I get to the airport, I'll have to do standby. I've already, mind you, mind you, mind you, I've already paid for the ticket, like about 200 something dollars for a ticket. I've already paid for the ticket. I paid for the hotel. I paid for the lift cash. I paid for my, my, my roommate actually going to take me to, to the airport tomorrow. I'm leaving nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Is this thing ridiculous or what? I found out that the flight is canceled before I even get to the to the airport. Before I get to the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't have freedom of speech. You know why? Because Facebook don't like internet marketers. Facebook don't like MLM. So now, I quit. I quit Facebook. And I'm only doing Twitter, YouTube, YouTube Shorts. Now, I talk on Facebook Messenger, but that's it. Yeah, I quit. I meant to do the rant yesterday, but it was late, uh, late at night, and it was so hot, and I was I was getting final preparations to leave tomorrow. I have to leave tomorrow because I, um, I'm i not paying $25 to move in. I'll probably try to get that $21 back, but I have to wait until I leave out. And, yeah, I have to wait till Monday because Monday is the, the day that I leave out and then get the refund. So, and then I have to take two pictures, uh, you know, before I head out. So, holy shit. Southwest, the day before, and no, I couldn't get on the app. I didn't need anything on the email. I had to use my brain. I had to use my brain to check the flight. And it said... Cancel. That's right. Cancel. Wow. So, I'm not going to say Southwest there on your fire just yet. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 try traveling postcard tomorrow. So, I'm still going to get out 9 o'clock. I still gonna find a way to get to Denver. I'm still gonna find a way to get to Denver. 
but I got to. I, I, I after after tomorrow, I don't have a place. I don't have a place. I got to get to Denver. I don't have a place. Yeah, I got a place to be in a hotel, but technically, I don't have a place until I get uh, until I get to Galveston and my new place there. I played to the part that my place at Galveston. I paid for the place at the hotel. Okay. So, I mean, this has already been a month of mishap, and Nick kept going out back and forth. Uh, had to go to a yard sale, and have to go now. Had to wind up going back to Missouri for something else, and just came back tonight, and two or three days, or, and then one time a week with nothing. I mean, bad break, hiccups, gotchas, slow, slow summer advertising, no sales, no, no bail, no nothing. Unbelievable. But I can tell you this: I will do a fight on this. Season of summer, you're fire. Take out the time.